Welcome to My Little Paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah, and today we are going to be painting Mario together. He's one of my favorite plumbers, right? I guess, if you're a Mario Kart fan. But whether you're having a birthday party or just painting for fun, I hope you have a good time. Our number one rule at our studio is to have fun and enjoy the process because we are all different painters. None of us paint the same. So your Mario may not look like my Mario. And that's how it should be, right? So have a good time, enjoy yourself, and get super creative with me, okay? I'm gonna use a couple of paint brushes today. Mine is a, oh, it's a big flat. I'm just gonna say a big flat. And then I have a small flat, and then a detail or a line brush. These are gonna be my favorite brushes today. If you have different ones, that's okay, no big deal. You use what works for you, okay? So first things first is I'm gonna take my brush and put it in some water. I need to loosen up the bristle so I have a jar of water here. I'm just gonna rinse my brush in there real quick. It helps to make sure it's clean and it also loads it up with water because our acrylic paint gets very thirsty. So I like to make sure I have water in my bristles. All right, the first thing we're going to do is paint Mario's face, his skin tone. I have all my colors here on my plate laid out, but I put the skin tone on a different plate just because I kind of filled mine up really quick <laughs> and I needed some more room. If that happens to you, just make more room, right? It's okay, we do what works. All right, so I have my skin tone here. You can either just grab that skin tone and paint Mario's face, or you can mix a little bit of white in it, which is what I like to do. I like to add a little bit of white mostly because it makes it shinier and just brightens it up a little bit and I love that. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my skin tone color. You can do whatever you love you know, the most. If you want to just leave it and not add any color to it, that's perfectly okay too. You ready to get started? Here we go. Let's start by painting Mario's face, okay? And as you can see, if you, um, got the paint kit from us with Mario, everything is gonna be traced on that paint kit for you. So you're gonna see it all traced. If you're just purchasing maybe the tutorial, then you can add this yourself. We have a pattern that you can cut out and trace it yourself onto any canvas size you want, okay? So that's kind of awesome. Either way, you should be able to find a good pattern to trace on your canvas to, to trace and follow along with. It just helps. So I'm just carefully going around my mouth. If you want to paint straight over it, you can. If you feel like you can still see the lines in your outline okay. I know some artists get nervous about that, and so I'm just showing you how to go around it first, okay? Because that might be a little bit easier for you. Here we go, I'm just gonna brush out any drips that I might see, right? If you see any drips, you wanna brush it out. That way, it's not super, super thick on your canvas. It dries a little faster for you and it also has a smoother look about it. Now, I'll tell you what, some artists love to have all of the thick strokes in their paintings. If you're one of those artists, awesome. Go ahead and leave those thick strokes. That's perfectly okay. I do do that in some of my paintings. I leave those thick strokes of paint for texture and it looks super cool, so that's up to you. Every artist is a little bit different. All right, here we go. And let's see, a lot of our artists like to say, Miss Sarah, you have thick strokes in your paint. They like to watch me at the studio and help me out with that. And I love it. They like to, to make sure I'm getting everything just right. There we go. We're gonna go all the way around this eye too. And you notice I'm using the very tippy point of my brush. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm using the tippy point, which is called the toe. 
So I'm using the toe of my brush to get around some of these areas that are hard to get around. And you can see I painted over here a little further than needed. It came into the hat right there, and that's okay because my hat's gonna paint right over it. But I like to make sure I come all the way around the eyebrow and just fill in all the space really well. Okay? There we go, I think that looks pretty good. How are you guys feeling? Hopefully awesome about this. Yeah, okay, cool. As soon as you fill in Mario's face, let's rinse our brush. We wanna make sure our brush is clean for the next color. Rinse, rinse, rinse. There we go. Perfect, all right. Next thing we want to do is paint in Mario's hair. So we need some brown. And you know, Miss Sarah didn't give herself some brown, so I'm gonna make sure I have some. I knew I was missing a color. It's your light brown. Okay, so grab some light brown real quick. If you got our kit, you have it, right? And let's mix a little bit of white with our brown. Just a touch, right? Because we don't want our brown to be really light necessarily. But the reason we mix a little bit of white with our brown is it just goes on better, to be honest, on our canvas. It brightens it up. And brown can sometimes be a little bit tricky to cover when it comes to this acrylic paint. So I just like to make sure I add a little bit of white to my brown, and you'll probably notice a difference. If you would rather to just paint that brown without the white, Go for it, that's okay too. All right, let's fill in that space. Whoop, I went into my face just a little bit there. It's okay, can always go back. Okay, so I'm gonna fill that in. I got a little lump in my canvas right there. Makes it a little tricky to be straight, okay. So let's go ahead and fill in his hair right there. Come all the way up to this corner, feel it around. He kind of loops, huh? So you've got to move your wrist as you go. Move your wrist to fill in the space. If you have a smaller brush that you're more comfortable with, you can use that. That's okay too. There we go. So we're going to fill that in. Perfect. There we go. We got his hair in there. Make sure you filled in all the space you want to. Got a little bit of brown there. Awesome. Let it dry. I'm gonna rinse my brush. Looks good. We haven't done our hat yet, right? We're building up to it, guys. Gotta build up to it. Okay. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're gonna let that hair dry just a minute and we're gonna paint his shirt, okay? And his shirt is red, right? So I have my red here and I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. Now remember guys, if you paint slower than me, that's okay. I just want you to pause the video and take your time, okay? If you're painting faster than me, I'm sorry. You know, I have artists that do that all the time in our studio. They paint so much faster than me. But we all paint at different paces. Some of us are really fast painters and some of us are a little bit slower. Both are great, okay? Just know that you can pause this video and take a minute to catch up, okay? But here we are. I added a little bit of white to my red, not a lot, because I want his shirt to be red, right? Not pink. If you keep adding that white to your red, it's gonna turn pink on you. Okay, but let's go ahead and paint this shoulder of Mario's all the way around. Whoop. I'm going to grab it around. I'm going to try not to paint inside his overalls. If we do, we're not going to panic, right? It's okay. Part of the fun of painting is just letting our brush go and seeing what happens sometimes. It's a lot of fun that way. Okay, so we have Mario's shirt here going in. 
Now right here, we love to encourage our artists to paint um, what we call wrap their canvas, which means you paint the bottom of the canvas as well, um, where his shirt comes down. So you would paint down here and then it's painted all the way around. Then when you turn your canvas, you'll see that the bottom of it's painted too. And that's kind of fun, but you don't have to worry about framing it. Your canvas is just completely ready for the shelf, right? So if you want to do that, take a minute to lift up your canvas and paint the bottom. Or just keep on rolling with me. That's okay. Either way. All right. I'm just filling in this part of his shirt in the middle. This little square. Okay. We'll add highlights and stuff later, so don't worry about all that. We're just filling it in right now. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get his other sleeve right over here, right? It just wraps right around the canvas. There we go. Paint right off. And you can also go paint around the bottom of this too. Bottom of the canvas and the side, wherever his shirt may wrap around. Okay, there we are. Looks awesome. Love it. All right, we ready to do the hat? I like doing the hat. Okay, make sure you have your red ready. I am making sure I have enough mixed with my white. I didn't mix my whole pile. I always mix a little bit at a time. If you mixed your whole pile, that's okay. No big deal. All right, once you're ready, Let's go ahead and start at the top and see how I'm trying to brush in a um, rainbow shape, curving my brush with the top of the hat. Okay, so I try to move in the direction of the hat so my brush strokes go that direction. All right, makes the hat look more round on top. And right here is a circle, so I'm trying not to go in the white. If you go in the white a little bit, it's okay. We're going to come back and paint it white later so don't stress that just do your best to go around it okay mario's hat goes right off right there we're gonna try and curve it around remember to add some water to your brush if you feel like your paint might be getting thick or we call it seizing up it's when your paint just gets a little bit thick and it doesn't flow very well on your canvas and you get little pockets that won't fill with paint, little white pockets. If that happens, it means you probably need a little bit of water. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Let's see here, if I can get around there. I kind of have a blind spot, so it's hard for me to see the edge of the hat, but I think we got it. Okay, I'm gonna fill in right here carefully go around the ear if we can right sometimes we have to slow down for these parts it takes just a minute huh to focus and i like to wrap the side of my canvas right there if you want to go right ahead and wrap that okay let's see here we have the very top right here to do as well let's go right around there try and keep our circle huh where mario logo is there okay I'm trying to keep that round there we go all right now let's just paint the top of his hat and this is where i try to go back and forth right we're gonna try and paint back and forth okay the direction that the rim of his hat will go so this is round right this is back and forth. All right. Here we go. We're going to paint right above here. Right off the canvas. This goes all the way up to his eyebrow. And then stops. We're going to go around the eyebrow. There we go. All right. We'll go right around this part. 
And it kind of wraps up a little bit, right? Okay. There we go. Looks good. Let's make sure we got a smooth sailing line here, best we can. Best we can. Might have a little bit of a shaky hand like Miss Sarah here, huh? Maybe. Miss Sarah gets the shakes a lot. All right, so this rim follows the corner of the eyebrow. See that? You're gonna come straight down that next to that eyebrow, make a straight line and curve it up on the edge. Just like that. How we do, guys? How did we do? Whew, that took a minute, right? So if you're still working on it, pause the video for a second. Okay, pause the video. And give yourself just a minute. I'm gonna rinse my brush, get ready for my next step. There we go, make sure it's clean. Okay, I'm switching to a smaller brush because I'm gonna do the red inside his mouth now. And I need a smaller brush to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, his tongue is lighter than the rest of his mouth. So we need to paint his mouth a darker red. I'm gonna do that first, it's the same color as you used on his outfit, okay? So we're gonna go right underneath his teeth here. Ooh, straight across. It's okay if you paint his tongue, that's all right, okay? We paint into it a little bit because your next color is just red with a little bit of white in it to make it pinker for his tongue. So I'm not too worried about it, okay? We just wanna make sure that his mouth is painted in Okay, there we go. So before I rinse my brush, I'm gonna make my pink. So I have red on my brush already. All I'm gonna do now is add some white to my red to make pink. I just want a lighter pink for the tongue, okay? There we go. Make sure it's light enough that you can definitely see a difference. Okay, wanna make sure you can at least tell that it's a little bit lighter. So go all the way around here. There we go. Okay, there you see. See how it's just a little bit lighter when you add some white to it? And you get that pink, huh? Nice. I can't wait to see all of your Mario's. They're gonna look so awesome. Good work. Okay, let's let that dry a minute. I'm gonna rinse my brush now and get ready for my next color. Rinsing well here. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to my, um, no, I'm gonna use this brush again. I'm gonna use, let's see, my small flat brush. If you wanna use something even smaller, you definitely can. But I'm going to paint his eyes, the blue in his eyes. Okay, so we have this dark phthalo blue here. I want to add a little bit of white and blue together to make a light blue. I didn't mix my whole pile, right? I'm not mixing my whole pile. I'm just mixing a little bit of white and blue to get a light blue, okay, for his eyes. Once you like the color, go ahead and go right up in here. And you can use either a really small brush, maybe your detail brush is a good one for you, or maybe a flat is good for you. Like mine right now, I'm using a flat, okay? You kind of have to decide what works for you. Every artist is different here when it comes to what tools they prefer to paint with, okay? So you kind of decide what you want. Just make sure you can fit your brush into a small space pretty easily to fill in those eyes. Ooh, we need the black, huh? <laughs> He's coming, guys. We're about to see Mario. It's looking more and more like him, right? As we go. All right, so we have our blue done. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush. All right, now I'm gonna to switch to my bigger 
flat brush, okay? And let's paint his overalls. Your red should be dry, should be dry. So if your red is dry, I want you to go ahead and mix some white and blue together again to make it a little darker than his eyes, okay? I'm just making his overalls a little bit darker than his eyes. See that? I like that color. So it's kind of a, a darker blue than his eyes, but not super dark blue, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and paint his overalls on here. There we go. You can also go ahead and wrap the bottom of the canvas as well. Okay. You gotta carefully go around his face here. Try really hard <laughs> not to paint his face that you worked so hard on, huh? There we go. Nice. Fill that in on that side too. Hmm. Now one trick to painting a line is to try not to pick up your brush. And that is definitely tricky. It takes a lot of practice. So you are awesome to just do your best on that. Good work. Okay, let's go ahead and paint the other side over here. Remember to use the toe of your brush, the tippy tippy point of your brush. If you need um, a smaller brush stroke and you're using a bigger brush, right? Just use the tippy tippy toe of your brush to get those little, little areas. There we go. I think I got that. Ooh, perfect. Now, when we add our lines, our outlining here shortly, it's gonna divide our overalls. So don't even worry about that. All right, guys. I am ready to let Mario dry for a minute and paint his background in. So if you're ready to join me, Let's do it because we already have blue on our brush, right? And the background is blue. So I'm going to make sure I mix enough. I have some blue here, make it, mix it with my white. Okay. Now let's get started on that. So let's put it in here. Remember to slow down if you need to. Remember to slow down because Mario looks so awesome already. We don't have to want to have to start again. Now you notice I like to go around him pretty fast, right? If you need to pause the video, do it, okay? It's okay. And I like to put some white on the corner of my brush as I go. See that? Remember we were talking about brush strokes? This is an area I love to show off my brush strokes. I will put some white on the corner and let it streak all the way around my image a lot of times, see that? So I'll follow my image with it and it gives it that white stroke or highlight in my background and leaves those fun streaks on my canvas. So if you wanna try that with me, just put some white on the corner of your brush, okay? Face the white towards Mario so that the attention goes towards Mario as you're painting that background and the edges stay darker. It's kind of just a little, little trick we do sometimes. Keeping our edges darker and our image brighter, okay? So you just add some of those white streaks to your painting. Keep the white facing Mario so I just have it on the corner of my brush. See that? And I keep it facing Mario. Just like that, okay? So basically your brush is loaded with blue, but then you have some white on the edge. And that white brightens him up. And then you just kind of brush in some of that white into your background. Just like that. And you can leave as much bright blue as you want on there. That's up to you. But I like those strokes on there. So I'm gonna leave them. Okay, let's go do the top up here. Same thing, I just face the white towards Mario. I have it on the corner of my brush. 
Okay, and then brush back and forth all the way around his hat here. There we go. So you can leave some streaks if you want to. I'll do this side over here. Don't forget if you want to, to reach up top and paint it blue along the top of your canvas and around the sides and wrap it. There we go, guys. I like it. What do you think? You love your background? I hope you do. Okay. There we are. So once you're done with that background, rinse that brush out. Really good. Double check it. Okay. Make sure it's super clean. Awesome. All right. What we're going to do is add some white while our background's drying. So I'm gonna put some white up here, and then I wanna put the buttons on, on Mario's overalls, right? So we gotta use some white here for just a second. I'm gonna load my biggest brush up. You can use your medium brush too if you want. I'm just gonna go around the edges up here with white. You can see I painted right over the M, huh, for Mario because I can see it really well, even though I'm painting over it. If you're worried about that, use a smaller brush and be really careful, okay? So you can put as many layers as you need to to cover up any red you may have gotten in there that's bugging you, okay? So I've got that covered, and then I'm gonna use my smaller, my smaller brush, smaller flat brush, and we're gonna put those buttons on our overalls, okay? Now here's the center, right? We're gonna have a line that comes down right here and a line that comes down right there. So we'll have a middle square. Okay, so this button, you're just going to circle around all the way to that edge and fill it in with white, okay? So just circle around, create your button. The reason we do it in white first is so your yellow really stands out. If you do it yellow first, you're gonna have a green button, not a yellow button, okay? So make sure that when you do this, you paint it white first. There we go. Let's see, I think I did that high enough. You can just kinda guess, make this button how big or small you want. Just make sure it's white. And you'll come back and paint it yellow in a minute, okay? So I'm just making sure I have a good amount of white on there so I have a really nice yellow button instead of a green button. There we go, perfect. Okay, use a little bit of white to go ahead and paint the teeth on Mario there. Okay, and we're gonna do the same with his eyes. So make sure they're white. So if you got a little bit of your skin color on there, no big deal. You can just go ahead, paint them white real quick. All the way down. There you go. Awesome. Okay, just make sure your red is covered. If you've got any up there, let that dry a second. And let's put in Mario's mustache. We're going to use black. And I'm also going to use a detail brush for his mustache. If you want to use a small flat brush, that's okay. I like to outline it first, get a really smooth edge. So I'm gonna add some water to my black, really water it down. Okay, make sure it's not too thick. And let's outline that mustache, just like that. The reason I like to outline it first is then you have that smooth edge already done, right? You, then you can fill it in really fast. So if you want to try outlining it with me first, you might like that. I'm going to go all the way around here. Don't forget to connect your mustache right there in that corner. There we go. Up and around. Okay. Curve it around. There we go. Got that done, right? Now we're just gonna outline the top part. Here we go. 
Woo. You try and do that without picking up your brush. That is so tricky. That's why if you want to just fill it in, you can. This is just something I love to do as an artist to make sure I get that really smooth edge. Just like that. See that? Okay. But if you want to, you can use a bigger brush, okay, to fill in the space. In fact, I would recommend it if you have a nice detail brush that you don't want to have messed up because Detail brushes get a really bad hairdo fast. If you paint them on large surfaces, you know, or not paint them on large surfaces, but paint large surfaces with a detail brush, okay? A lot of times what happens is they get ruined. So I recommend you use a bigger brush to fill it in, but that's up to you. All right, guys, looks good. Okay, so before you do your eyeballs, let's do the eyebrows, okay? Because if you put your hand in, your mustache will be really sad. You will smear that black everywhere. All right, so I'm going to do my eyebrow first here. Curves all the way around. Ooh, there we go. Nice eyebrow right there. Curve that eyebrow around. There we go. Awesome. Okay, we'll do this other eyebrow. Make sure you don't smear your mustache. Honestly, probably should have done the eyebrows first, but that's okay as long as we're careful. I do like when I'm filling in with black to start from the top and work my way down. Then we don't smear my black, but you know, I was really excited to get to that mustache. <laughs> See, I smeared my black on my nose. I'm gonna show you what to do there when that happens because you may have just done that. Okay, so here we go. Let's finish filling this in up, up that way. Give him a nice eyebrow. All right, awesome. Now don't try and fix any black if you smeared it on your face. Don't try and fix it yet. Let it dry completely, okay? All right, here we go. I'm gonna fill this eye in. Let's fill in that circle. Ooh, I'm outlining it first, right? Then filling it in. See that? Okay. Outlining it first. There we go. Okay, once you fill that in, we're gonna do the other side. I'm excited to outline his nose right here, so I'm leaving some space there on the bottom. See how it follows the nose around? Just fill in the eye, the eye circle. That's why that is not a full circle, because the nose comes up right there. Okay. Go all the way up here and around. Nice, that looks pretty good. I like it. Nice and round. Yeah, it's starting to look like Mario, guys, right? Starting to see him. Rinsing my brush really good because I'm gonna give my eyebrows and my eyes a break. And we're gonna go put our M in because your white should be dry. So I'm gonna load my brush up with some red. We're still using our little tiny line brush, okay, for our M. So I've got my red here. And let's go ahead and outline our M. If you have a small enough flat brush, you can use that for this, but it has to fit in there pretty well for it to, to work okay. All right, here we go. All the way up. Once again, I'm outlining first, right guys? Outlining it first, just like if I was using a pen and writing an M. Outlining it, 
and then I'm gonna fill it in, okay? So there's my M, now I'm gonna fill it in. There we go. It's gonna give you a clean result, hopefully, right? If not, you just create your own M. Go for it. I know you can do a good M. I have seen so many different kinds and I love it. Love to see what you guys come up with. It's my favorite. Okay. Make sure we have a good layer. I like that M. That's a good M. Okay. Rinse our brush. Now, your buttons should be dry. If not, you can grab a blow dryer or you can wait just a minute. It's up to you. But I'm going to add a little bit of white to my yellow. Okay. There we go. I got my yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. Mixing that in. And I'm going to paint my buttons yellow. There we go. Look how yellow they are because we painted them white first. Your yellow is going to be nice and bright just the way we like it. Awesome, right? Just that easy. Okay, rinse that brush out. You guys, we're almost done. Almost done. In fact, a lot of our artists like to get this far and they're done. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to outline this with me. If you want to though, I am going to outline my Mario. And I'm going to show you how. But first, if you got some black on your face, take your skin color, okay? And just go right over it like that with your brush and look how easy it is to cover it. See that? Super easy. I'll just cover it right up. All right, here we go. We're going to outline before we highlight. All right? So I'm going to grab my very small line or detail brush. Okay, add some water to your black. That's kind of a little trick we do. If you make it very thin and inky, okay, so I'm just dipping my brush in water and dipping it in my paint and mixing it around, that's going to make it so much easier for me to outline my Mario. And we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. That way we don't smear our paint as we go, okay? So I'm gonna start up here at the top. Here we go. And it's all about how hard you push with your brush, okay? If you press pretty hard with your brush, you're gonna get a thicker line. And that's all right, you can have a thick line. There's nothing wrong with a thick line. Thick lines are great. They're just different, right? Thick lines are different from thin lines. Neither of them are bad, they're just different. So just go for it and be super proud of yourself for what you're doing because outlining is tricky. Take your time, you don't have to go super fast, okay? You don't have to go fast. Take your time. You can slow down and you can pause this video if you need to. I've been outlining a pretty long time and I still, at times, will smear my paint or, you know, get shaky. Outlining is just tricky. So it's awesome that you're doing it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and outline the top rim of his hat right off the canvas there. Okay, and I'm going to come around the top too, corner and add that curve. Now for the middle circle here, I'm not going to outline the whole thing. I just kind of come up a little bit on each corner. So each side, I just come up a little bit, but that's it. I don't go ahead and I don't, if you want to outline the whole thing, you can. I just chose not to. So either way, it looks awesome. Let's go ahead and finish the bottom rim of his hat here. Meet his eyebrow, right? Right here. Ooh, I got a little shaky there. See, that happens. It's okay. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna come all the way around here. And meet his other eyebrow. 
Okay, now right here on this part, it comes all the way out a little bit. See that? Just past his eyebrow. Just to show that his hat comes out. It has a little crease in it. And then we outline the bottom part there. Okay, now right here, we're gonna take a minute to outline the eyes and the hair. So I'm gonna do the hair first. I'm just gonna outline his hair here. If you want to, if you like the hair the way it is and you don't want to outline it, that's perfectly fine. Okay. There we go. Got that hair outlined. Okay. Here we go. Let's do these eyes. Ready, guys? Eyes can be a little tricky, right? So if you feel like you like your eyes and you don't want to outline them, that's fine with me. Totally fine. I'm going to start at the circle, the black circle, and come around. Trying not to pick up my brush. Whoo! Okay, and then I'm going to outline the blue part of his eye as well. That's optional. That's just if you want to do that. Okay, so same thing on this one. Start over on the corner by the black. Follow the black around and keep going. There we go. Okay, and then we'll do the blue right inside the eye there. All right. Okay, can you see where that nose is going? That nose. Let's put that nose in there so we can show it off, okay? So the nose, you're gonna start just a little bit over here close to the eye. You can really put that anywhere you want, but I like to start a little bit in and curve it around just like that. Okay. There we go. Curve that nose around. There you go. Awesome guys. Good work. Wow. That was tricky, right? Give yourself a high five. All right, right here. Let's go ahead and do the side of his face. There it is. Now let's give this side a minute to dry and come over here and do his ear. Okay, we're gonna come right over here and just follow where your hairline is there. Follow it around. We're gonna come all the way around his ear and back up. See that? All the way around and up, okay? Right here, I have a little bit of a drip, so I'm going to grab it with my brush, like that. Okay, and then we're going to come down here and do his cheek. Ooh, and his chin. I like to see how far I can go before my brush runs out of paint. How far can you go? Give him a nice little round chin there. And up in his cheek, huh? I just like to see if I can go very far before my paint runs out. That was pretty good. I'm gonna give myself a high five for that one. Right? Curve that chin a little bit right there. There we go. Okay, looking good. All right, let's go ahead and finish the hair over here. Okay, it wraps around and back up, just like that. All right, we do need to do the mouth, but I'm just going to wait a minute and make sure my chin is dry before I attempt to do the mouth, okay? So let's go ahead and finish outlining his outfit here right there okay i'm gonna curve his outfit a little bit there on top come around try not to pick up my brush Ooh. but if you need to pick it up that's all right too all right so here's his jumper it's going to come straight down here right next to the button just like that see that right next to the button okay same thing on this side it comes down right next to the button 
Okay, same over here. All the way down. And then you can fill this part in and it goes straight down. You leave a little bit of space there by the button. And we're gonna outline the top of that. And you see how I'm curving it a little bit? Almost with a rainbow shape. It's not straight across, it has a little bit of a curve, right? Okay, and then let's see here. I'm just gonna outline some of the button here. You can do the whole thing like I did, or you can just do some of it. All the way around, there we go. Awesome. Okay, before we do the mouth, let's go over and finish this ear. Okay, we gotta show the inside of Mario's ear a little bit. Give it some depth here. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to this ear. Now all I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna curve your brush and create a rainbow, okay? So we're gonna curve it, create a rainbow. See that rainbow shape? And then just inside, right up the middle, you're gonna do another rainbow shape, just like that. Okay, I think that mouth is ready for us. Let's do it. Let's do it. First things first, you're gonna outline the whole thing. So all the way around first. Okay. Outline all the way around first. Oop, I ran out of paint. See, so we wanna try really hard to go all the way around, right? Before we run out of paint. Got a little drip there. Let's see if I can get it without smearing it. Not bad, I'll take it. All right, now let's finish the teeth. And the tongue. There we go, guys. Nice job. I love it. Looks awesome. All you have left is the highlighting. So make sure your brush is really clean. I'm gonna show you this highlighting really quick. It's pretty fast and easy, and it just adds a little bit to your painting. So I'm gonna put some white on it. On this brush that I've rinsed out, start at the top, and let's put some highlighting on our hat. See those little white streaks here? Okay, just add some white to our painting. You just brush it on there, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit here. Okay, and just along the top of the rim where the light might be hitting it, right? Like that. Okay, and then we're gonna add some, you can add some just in the eyes right here if you want to, give him a little bit of light in his eyes. And I like to add some on the bottom of the tongue right there. Okay. And then some on his clothes. So I'm gonna put a little white streak here on the top of his sleeve and along the edge of his overalls. The top of this sleeve and along the top of his shirt there. See how it just shows the difference? I love it. And then you can add some to his buttons. So I'm gonna curve a little rainbow shape here along the top of each button. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. Last thing I'm gonna do is put that sparkle in Mario's eye, right? And I like to use the back of my brush to do it. So I just dip the back of my brush in white paint, get that fun chocolate chip there. And then where is Mario looking? I think he's looking at Peach, isn't he? Is he looking at Peach? We're gonna have him looking at Peach. Just like that. Good work, guys. You did it. Last thing we're gonna do is just sign our name because as artists, we are so proud of our work, right? So we're gonna add our signature. Find a little spot, use your tiniest brush to do it, and let's put our name on there. Anywhere you like. I'm gonna put Miss Sarah. Thank you for painting with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.